This video will help you with the installation of the VNS 1620 wireless alphanumeric LED message board. Before beginning your installation, please make sure to have the following items nearby. A marker, screwdrivers, electric drill, level, ribbed plastic anchors, and screws. First, let's get familiar with the VNS 1620 message board. On the back of the unit, there is a compartment that provides access to the unit DC power input, USB port for programming, and a power backup battery if the option was purchased. The VNS 1620 can be powered using its power adapter, external DC power of 10 to 20 volts, or a 12 volt PoE adapter. The VNS 1620 is designed to be installed on a wall under the ceiling line, but can also be simply shelf mounted where a fixed wall installation is not required or permitted. When selecting a location to install the VNS 1620, make sure there is a nearby AC power outlet. If needed, the power extension cable that comes with the unit will provide up to 10 feet of additional distance from an AC outlet. Verify that the selected installation area is clear of any electrical and HVAC lines. If an AC power outlet is not available, an alternate power option is to use a PoE solution to provide the power to a VNS 1620 equipped with that option. Place one of the VNS 1620 mounting brackets 10 to 12 inches from the ceiling line. Hold a level under the bracket to make sure it is straight and mark the location of the two mounting holes inside the bracket eyelets. Using the electric drill, drill the marked mounting holes and insert the ribbed plastic anchors. Repeat the previous two steps for the second mounting bracket installed at the same height and 29 and a half inches from the first bracket. Use two screws to secure the left and right mounting brackets to the wall. Open the VNS 2620 back panel and insert the power adapter connector into the DC jack. Close the back cover, leaving enough cable length as will be needed to plug the power adapter into the AC outlet. Secure the VNS 1620 to the mounting brackets on the wall using the included mounting bolts. Tilt the display downwards a little for the best viewing angle. Plug the VNS 1620 power adapter into the AC outlet. The installation is done and the VNS 1620 is ready to be tested.